I am the father of the groom. <laughs> and on behalf of the parents of both the bride and the groom, we want to welcome and thank all of you for coming to celebrate Dustin and Sadie's wedding today. Dustin and Sadie's story begins as two teenagers who met and became friends in high school. A lot has taken place since those two have met. Dustin and Sadie have shared much together. They've shared memories from high school until now that will last them a lifetime. They have grown together through life's experience, some good, some challenging. But they perceive, per persevered and have cared for and have loved each other. That brings us to this day. At this time, I would like to give them some advice about marriage that will help them along the way. Say I love you often. Forgive quickly and laugh regularly. It is said that laughter is the shortest distance between two people. And son, keep your marriage overflowing with love. Remember, whenever you're wrong, always admit to it. And whenever you are right, keep it to yourself. <laughs> On a more serious note, I would like to honor the bride and groom for a moment. To my son, Dustin, your given spirit and your love have earned you the most special gift, your bride, Sadie. Cherish her. Sadie, you are indeed a gift from God, and we welcome you into our family with all of our hearts. And we rejoice in Dustin's good fortune that he has found you and you him. Sadie, we are very happy to have you as the newest member of our family, and it has been a pleasure watching you both grow into the couple that you have become today. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to excuse me if I end here. I'm under strict instructions not to have another drink until after my speech. So if you will please raise your glasses to the bride and groom, Dustin and Sadie. We wish you both, we wish both of you a happy and blessed life. We love you. So as I'm sure most of you guys know, this is my baby sister. And she is marrying the love of her life today. Whew. I can't say anything super heartfelt because my eyes will just pour tears. So I just want to thank everyone who has taken the time, effort, stress, and money to put together the most beautiful, perfect day. Sadie, you look amazing. Dustin, you look pretty too. <laughs> I wish you guys a lifetime of belly laughs and smiles so your face hurts. Even in the bad times, try and smile through them you'll make it. It's good. Thank you again. Everyone looks fabulous. I want everybody to have a great time. I know she's stressed about this tons. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Danny. Uh, I have the honor of being Dustin's best man tonight. Um, uh, everyone, please bear with me. As um, <laughs> everyone, please bear with me as this speech, as sure as I'm not, hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm sure none of you can name a Mexican uh, <laughs> who is good at public speaking, including myself. So, <laughs> as you can tell already, I'm not starting out that good. First, I would like to thank uh, everyone for attending this beautiful day. It's, it's a moment that we get to cherish with, with them, too, for the rest of their lives. And uh, it's a beautiful moment. Uh, next, I would like to thank the parents of the bride and groom for putting on such a beautiful event. This has been uh, perfect. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. Finally, I'll, I'd like everyone to give it up for this amazing couple. Sadie, you look, you look beautiful. You look stunning tonight. And Dustin. Yeah, you look like Dustin. He looks good, as always. But uh, 
So I want to start out by saying I've known Dustin since about fourth grade. We became really close friends when uh, we joined a traveling soccer team together. And uh, if you haven't, I recommend if you haven't seen Dustin play, you get there early because nine times out of ten, you, you, the chances he won't be playing in the second half due to, to the passion that he has for the game and his willingness to voice his opinions to the refs. He, he, he tends to get red carded very early in the games. <laughs> but uh, in, in all seriousness, I feel like, like we are all blessed with special people in our life and uh, to me, Dustin is one of those people, you know. We may go a while without talking to each other, but uh, we, we pick right up where we left off every, every time. It's, it's like we never, we just pick right up. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> pick right up where we left off. <laughs> No, and, and, and um, he's one of the people in my life that I can call to, for anything. Like, I would call him to help me move, to help me, to help me do anything. And I, and I hope that I'm that person for you. You're, you're real special to me. And Sadie, you're, you're a lucky woman. Dustin, Dustin's one hell of a guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> This man would do anything in the world for you, and the, the love that you two have is, uh, is unconditional, and, it represent, and, and it's real rare and, rare and beautiful that people, people in this world have this love that you two have. And, and I think I speak on behalf of everybody that you two are a match made in heaven for each other. And, and also, Sadie, I want to thank you for coming into Dustin's life, because the one thing that you want for one of your good friends in life is, is for him to be happy, and, and I've never seen Dustin more happy than when he's with you, you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so so as, a young, as a young married man, I've only been married about two years, I'd like to leave you guys with a little piece of advice, and, and it's, Dustin, try not to get mad at Sadie over, over the small things, you know, such as such as not knowing where she wants to eat or, or, you know, losing all the phone chargers in the house. Or is that just my wife? I don't know. Like, every, we don't have a phone charger anywhere in the house. <laughs> and, and my advice to you, Sadie, is, is just, just don't get mad at Dustin <laughs> over, over anything. You, can, you can't get mad at him. <laughs> so I want, I want you guys to raise, raise your glass and toast to this couple, the new Mr. and Mrs. Smith. All right, thanks, guys. You can take your seat. Yeah, give it up for him. Round of applause. Um, I'd like to thank everyone. I know everyone's done that for being here in support of Dustin and Sadie. And I'd like you to join me in a blessing and prayer over this event today. Father, thank you for this beautiful day that you've made perfect to celebrate the love of my daughter, Sadie, and her husband, Dustin. Thank you for safely bringing their friends and their family here to celebrate with them. Lord, I ask for your blessings on Dustin and Sadie. I ask you to fill their lives with your presence, that they look for you to guidance in all they do. And I pray that throughout their life together, they will put you first and allow your perfect love to guide them in how to love each other. I pray they will put each other's needs before their own, and I pray and pray for each other daily. Lord, I ask you to place a hedge of protection around them, their family and any future children, protection over their health and their finances and their love for each other. And as their family and friends, Lord, help us to support and protect their love for each other by always giving an encouraging word and positive advice whenever speaking over them or about them and their commitment to each other. And lastly, Lord, we ask your blessing over this celebration of their love and marriage today. Bless the food which has been prepared for this event. Jesus, in your holy name I pray, amen. <laughs>